away in forest green, and keeps from me the changeling boy that served me well until this ploy. Pack! Robin Goodfellow Sprite! Come, attend your king this night. Sprite roams the night, attending fairy monarchs bright. King Oberon I pander to, his various plots I help to brew. Ah, there <laughs> you are, my trusted puck. Abide my thoughts, my mind thus stuck. Titania keeps her face from me, her grace, her beauty I do not see. Go, find wherewith she is hidden now, and bring me news of what and how I may adorn her queenly lips with royal kiss of sweet rose hip. There! Back I'll take the changeling boy, who brought this king much wondrous joy. <laughs> now this changeling of the Indian caste, the king's own queen procured. Ere past and around that child much conflict accrued. Thus Oberon did heavily brood. Until mortal bottom turned to ass. He all did help to solve that impasse. But then another problem had grown. The changeling by another owned. An Indian king, the boy's royal sire, claimed back his son amidst much ire. So a pact was made with the men of the sea to find the child and set him free from fairy king and Titania, his queen. Return him and collect a royal fee. Alarmed that they could lose the boy, Oberon and Titania devised the ploy. To this goal was Puck thus sent to thwart the scheme and voyage. To rent by a tempest fierce was I decreed to grind the ships into the sea. Thus directed, Robin went forward and did as told. But what gained he? Tis you, my merry sprite. How goes your king this moonlit night? Hast thou divulged my pact with you? For if that's done, well will you rue. Nay, fair queen, thy secret sound within my oath. It is well bound. So be it. Remember what is waged in it. You do my bid for reward that's fit. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! No recompense, no just reward. Nay, Puck, having well accomplished previous deed, found the fairy royals hath disagreed for Oberon to keep the boy. She took him back, that was her ploy. So their spat's been resurrected, and Puck's reward has been deflected. His love for Partridge, disallowed by king and queen. Robin! Dearest impish fawn, how gives my queen about light? <laughs> what deeds did she direct you to this night? To gun a domain of a lord Oberon? For now I must heed to Tanya's ways, to sow her fun in diverse ways, having had me accomplish her scheme in Oberon's, rendering the sea to scream. So words I said to fairy queen, reminding of midsummer's dream, of ass whose love was made to churn. <laughs> Remembering that, her mischief now burns to render Oberon tip for time, retaliated royal spat. <laughs> but now my good and breathless fay, how for you brings forth the day. <laughs> what means this? Speak, speak, my love. Jealousy has bound it on his heart. She claims all fairies' love, none apart. So mine for you is to be punished unless her whim can be banished. This should you know by queen's decree. Fairy no more am I to be, but feathered as bird, trapped in that wing, with bird-like voice I'll only sing. Thus will remain your partridge, gray, captured as unhappy fay, <sighs> remaining so by queen's caprice with Oberon, till she makes her peace, you and I are hapless, stuck, partridge one with star-crossed puck. Nay, a bird I do not see, fairy bright, you stand by me. Tis the night doth make it so. By daylight, I am fairy no more. 
Ah, yea, enslaved we are by king and queen. Those two go far to render dreams of thine and mine. Oh, dearest love, of their whims were given of. So I must buy some other scheme. Affection must find another way, and Cupid thus must have his say. Do not hobgoblins have a heart? Should we imps not love in part? Nay, it is wrong for Oberon and she, Titania, to greatly hamper me, and cause us, Partridge and this sprite, secret to meet by dark of night. That does not in truth accord. Prohibiting love is untoward. But plans now to set a light. Menial no more. Robin will fight. This good fellow will set plans afoot to right the wrong, to thus take root. <laughs> Hither now two mortals near. It helps my plot. Puck's will will sear Oberon's mind. Titania's too. I'll set in motion a magic stew. As these two thus plough the night, I'll deal our mortals a wondrous fright. <laughs> Visions will these women see. Oracles with a decree. <laughs> Did Queen Titania order thus? Nay, Puck's own craft will cause the fuss. <laughs> I'll leave you brief as you weave your plot, and I return to learn what's wrought. <laughs>